Well, Susan, it's about eight weeks since we've put in your hyacinths. Well yeah. done, hyacinths. Yeah. Yeah, so, in. and we dug them into the ground, didn't we? We dug them into the ground because they need to be cool and dark to start with. That's when you're using forced hyacinths to have them flowering around Christmas, earlier in the January maybe, you put them cold to start with. Okay. They make root growth. So we've, we've actually dug this up now. Right. We've exposed it. So we can... So we're going to lift it out. Let, let me do the heavy yes, bits. Let you do the heavy bits. You do work. enough heavy bits yourself. No, well, I don't go in the hole. <laughs> I nearly did. Um, now, actually, look at these guys. They're coming up. Yep, they are coming up. You can just see them Hyacinth beginning. for Christmas. Now, we're well, talking about how many weeks to Christmas? About eight weeks. About eight weeks to yeah. Christmas. Now, we may not be flowering for Christmas, but we'll see. Okay. Or, or certainly shortly afterwards they will be. What you need to do now is bring them in and acclimatise them to indoors slowly. So you bring them in, have you got a cool porch Put or Put them in a cool, cool place. Cool place with right. light now, they want light now. Yes, okay. So they'll start to green up, they're already beginning to Terrific. green up. Terrific. Now grow. if you left those outside and they were in a very cold, uh, because it's going to get colder now, what would be the story with them? Uh, they they'd probably die. freeze to bits, yeah, once we get frost, because ideally if they were growing outside in the ground, they wouldn't be coming up until the spring. They'd oh, be flowering in the spring. So, we're so you're this. forcing them to have indoor oh, flowers isn't that early. Interesting. Hmm. So oh, I didn't know that's what we were doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's amazing. So, so now Can you do that with all plants? Um, there are there are there is a daffodil and narcissus called paper whites, which you can do the same with, heavily scented. Right. But not necessarily with all plants. You can experiment they just and see. Right. But okay. these have been specially forced so they will do this. Now the bulb itself, the bulb is sort itself of has been treated in some way. I'm not uh -huh. sure what they do, but these oh, are okay. for that purpose. Now, what bulb is that? That's a hyacinth. Hyacinth. Okay. So and are there particular types of hyacinths? Um, just well, you'll just see. You'll just see when you go into buy bulbs in the autumn that it'll say these are for for forcing. Okay. Right. Um, so we'll just show that to the camera there, yeah. so we'll see. No, so Isn't that amazing? I mean, this has um, been under the ground now for weeks. Eight, about eight weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now. No. Um, when you bring it in slowly, you climatize, and then yeah. when it's got to about four inches high, green leaves, yeah. then you can bring it into the sitting room, the kitchen, whatever. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> but if you want them to f keep flowering for longer, once they start to flower, if you put them in back in cool for the evening, for the night. And must you do you that the whole time? You even don't have when they to. Flower. You don't have to, but it'll just keep them flowering for longer. And what sort of about flowering. watering? Well, you notice now that this is there is bulb. There is bulb fibre under this, there's still a bit of sort of mud what's left from... What's so bulb fibre? It's a compost for putting bulbs oh in. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. So you'll know yourself if they're drying out. Yeah, that you just, you just keep water yeah, Because you're yeah. in charge, up to this the rain has been doing it, from now on you're right. in charge Right, okay, water. okay. Now what you could do is just put a layer, of pebble, a layer of pebble or sand or something on top of yeah. this, so it looks a bit more attractive. Oh yeah, because it does Cause look a bit... It does look yeah. a bit okay. where we let So soil just put a it. tiny bit of sand or something, yeah, yeah. yeah. just to make yeah. it prettier. So okay, well, yeah, doing. brilliant. So put that in the porch. Yeah, and we look yeah. forward to doing a clip with it flowering. Absolutely. I hope. <laughs> you better. <laughs>